السؤال ان انجلش ذا كويشن از واي ديد حضرت عيسى ابن مريم وينت مايجريتد اند هيز فاميلي تو كشمير There are some reasons. One is mentioned by me with reference to the New Testament, the Bible. And also it has a reference to the Old Testament. It was prophesied that Jesus would come to deliver the Israelites and emancipate from something, which means they will be slaves and he would deliver them from slavery. This was the prophecy of the Old Testament. Now, Hazrat Isa A.S. came and he did not deliver them from the Roman, um, you know, overlordship or Roman slavery. When suggested, he said, no, I have nothing to do with that. So what did he come for? He came to deliver them from the clutches of Satan from their slavery to set Satan and satanic ways. And this is the purpose of all prophecy in fact. But it was prophesy, prophesied that he would deliver the entire Israelites, not just two tribes. So his mission could not have been completed until he had gone to all the Israelites and attempted to deliver them from the clutches of the Satan, of Satan or devil. Right? So wherever they had gone, he should have gone. And that is exactly what him, he himself had prophesied. He once said to his people, I leave you and I'll go in pursuit of the lost sheep of the house of Israel, which is interpreted by all the Christian scholars without fail. By lost sheep, he means those ten tribes of Israelites which he which had migrated from the main line of Judea and Palestine and moved to some remote eastern regions. So when he himself had prophesied that he would leave the, this country and go in search of the sheep of the house of Israel, then wherever they went, we must find him. We, we would be somewhere there. Now those who insist that he went to heaven, Christians also insist that although he was crucified, but he was delivered. Muslims say he was not crucified, but he was delivered. And they both say, because he can't found, be found here, he, was, he ascended bodily to heaven. Right? Mm -hmm. Now, what for? Was there the lost sheep of Israel? What is, was it doing in the heavens? <laughs> <laughs> so they... To prove the truth of Jesus, they give him a lie. All they succeed in establishing is that our Lord Jesus Christ was not a true man. He promised his people that he would go to heaven, no, no, go to the lost sheep of Israel, forgot the promise and ascended straight to heaven. How can it be possible? And these Christians attribute two lies, unfortunately. That's very saddening. A very tragic thing. To attribute lies to one's own book, like some ulama do, as I've told, to your own prophets. That's not fair, is it? No. No. They attribute another lie now, Uzbillah Manzali. God forbid, Jesus couldn't have done that. They say that the Jesus, while hanging upon the cross, promised the uh, two robbers, one of the robbers, mm -hmm. that wait before the 24 hours are over, before one day is finished, I'll meet you in the heaven, in the paradise. The two robbers will go also to paradise. Yeah. That is according to them. But not only that. I say, all right, did he go to paradise within 24 hours? No, he said he went to hell for three days, you see now. For our sake. All right, if he did it for your sake, why did he tell lies? The last thing one does is to tell the truth, to be on the right side of God, to seek forgiveness. An ordinary man also doesn't dare to tell lies at the time of his death. And look at them. They have added these things into the scriptures themselves. And that hurts us.
because we believe in Jesus Christ to be a very highly honorable prophet of God who never told a lie. But you read the New Testament. That must have been added by some human hand. That Jesus told one of them, that don't worry, I am going to meet you before the 24 hours day is over. I am going to meet you in heaven. And where did he meet him? 